Hi, welcome to the Brits of Gaming. Welcome to the 2024. I hope everybody had a brilliant Christmas and I hope everybody had a great New Year's Eve and New Year's Day parties. Um, sorry this is that late. Um, I've had New Year, I was doing with New Year and Christmas. Been a bit ill. Um, but I said on my short that I received this for Christmas off my partner. Um, I've already built it and primed it already because I was too excited. Um, and what else I've got, another thing I've got for Christmas which I would recommend pe um, people getting is an Asus ROG Ally. I had this for Christmas and I absolutely adore it. The screen's a bit dull at the minute because the brightness is down. Um, and I would recommend it. It's fantastic. Um, especially if you're on the go. Um, but yeah, let's, what we'll do now is we'll get in straight to this. So like I said, I've already pre-primed um, pre it. So I've primed it in white primer just to give it a base coat. Um, absolutely gorgeous detail work. Um, so what we're going to do first is we're going to go and straight in and start getting it painted. So let's go. Right. Um, oh yeah, and another thing, I've been given a new paintbrush as well. I've got one new paintbrush. Uh, I've got another, another one somewhere. Yeah, I've got a couple more somewhere in there. Um, but yeah, the first colour we're going to do is... Let me, let me just go and get my colour sorted. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, sorry about that. I just have to go and test it to make sure. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for Blood Angels Red. And we're going to use that for the... What are we... How are you call these again? Squid. Thing, Bobby. Um, I'm going to use a half decent brush, give it a good shake, and we're just going to do one base coat of this. Don't worry about getting any else wear in a minute because we can touch everything up again. Well, I uh, like the best thing to do with this though is definitely try and go neat as possible. Oh crap. Oh don't do that what I've just done then. Good job of repainting it anyway. Um thank you to all the new subscribers. Appreciate it. Not far from getting hundred subscribers. So yeah, go around and get all your little squid squid done, but try and avoid getting any on his gums or anything like that. But if you do, we can touch you can just touch it up anyway. So I will go and get that done now and I'll be back once I've got that done. And there we go. I've gone over and touched up back um touched up some places back with white scar. Um which is that colour. Um we're gonna use that quite a bit often now yeah, we are. Um, next colour we're going to do, um, we're going to use Vlac Plus Pink. We're going to use that for his gums. 
Give it a good shake. Get one of my new, this is one of my new brushes as well. It's got um, a very small tip, but one of the um, bristles is hanging off. Right, so yeah, we're gonna get some on the brush and we're gonna literally paint all his gums up. Don't worry if you get it on the teeth because like um, we can easily fix that up anyway. I was hoping for a new camera for Christmas, but I didn't get one. Could have got it instead of the rug, um, but I didn't get to choose. Right, that's the top bit done. And then we're gonna... No, there ain't none at the bottom, but yeah. Just make sure we got that all done. Yep. And basically, just uh, obviously we're going to fix his teeth. We are. But while that's doing that minute, I'm going to go back to the Blood Angels Red because I can see that I've missed quite a bit at the bottom here of his teeth where I've probably touched up and missed bits. So I'm just going to go touch this up. Like so. Yep. That's it. I'm just going to give this a dry, and now I will give this a dry, and I will go and I will go and touch up all the teeth with white scar, and I'll back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. I've even gone and done his eyes as well. So um, because I thought I might as well get it done while I was at it. Right. The next colour we're going to do is black templar. Give it a good shake. And we're gonna, I'm gonna use this one. And we're gonna use it to paint the scar barrier. Right, yeah, so go around and get all of his little, his cloak and everything done in his hat. And if you make, obviously, if you make, like I say, making the mistakes, just touch it up. I'm going to get his cloak done and I'll be back once I've got that done. And there we go. Right, next colour we're going to do is, where are the bloody things gone? No. Oh. Skeleton bite leather. 
and we're going to do this and we're going to get his sack done and the antlers done. So I'll give that a good shake. Right, oh, hang on, I'll just put that back. Sorry. Yeah, so we're just going to go and straight over. The um, bag. Literally trying to be cle cle not clever, um, oh, careful, sorry that's what I'm looking for, of trying not to get it on any of the white because I'm getting sick to death of touching the white up. So yeah, go and get get his bag done and get um his um his antlers done, and I and I will go and get that done now and I will catch you once I've got that done. And there we go. I do need some touching up to do on it. I do. So <clears throat> sorry about this. I'm just gonna get the his hands sort of touched up a little bit because I've just noticed I've missed his hands here there we go oh and the bubble even though it's going to get covered up with a different colour anyway but just to be on the same side right Let's just put this away. Right, the next colour we're going to do is Rhinox Hide. And we're going to want this, well, first we're going to need a, a dry brush. So, um, so I've got that, a small one, because we only need a small one. And I get this one as well. And what we're going to use this for is, well, let's do the dry brushing first. Sorry. This is why I sometimes I don't edit, edit most of my stuff out because I like to keep it all natural and not so perfect. So if you have to perfect, I'm sorry that ain't me. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to get some on the brush, not too much. Mush it around into there, get some of it off, and we're going to get see the, the top of these antlers, do you? We're going to get that job, we're going to dry brush top of them, and we're just going to keep building it until you well, basically, what you got if you like, um, to the point where you think, yep, done because you can overdo it.
and make sure you get obviously get your um, at the back of it as well. Like so, and there we go. It don't have to be neat at all with it because every antler on a rain on what well, this is not reindeer, but for example, a reindeer, they're all different. So dry brushing done, we're going to get a paintbrush, and we're going to go around and paint every strap belt wherever you feel like you need to pull it. Um, side up to you The difficult bit is is trying to get get it down there without any get without getting paint anywhere. So yeah, what you're gonna do? So go there and get all this done. And I will go get I will go get this done, and I will back to you once I've got all the straps and belts done. And there we go. Right. The next colour we're going to do, we're going to get the, um, the orcs um, skin done and we're going to use orc flesh. Get some on a brush. Try and avoid the teeth as best as you can. Like if not, just go back over it with white scar. Sorry if you can't see. Yeah, so basically, go around, you got his face and his hands to do, you got him to do, and don't forget, this this one here doing um, snow, snow angels down, sorry, snow angels at the bottom. So yeah, go around, get, get that done, oh, and don't forget, there's this one popping out the bag as well. 
So yeah, go around, get all the, all the uh, orc skin done, and oh, and I forgot as well, using the Blood Angels Red, or if you want, use Methiston Red, and use it for inside there for his eyes. So what I'll do, I'll go and get all that done, and I'll be back to you once I've got it done. And there we go. All the um, all, um, goblin skins done, and all the eyes have been done. Right, what we're going to do next is we're going to go back to Rhinox hide, and we're going to paint some of the um, goblins. Um, I don't know what you want to call it, robes, things on the covering their bits. So we got this one down here, just there. Very difficult, it's very tiny. Because <clears throat> I try not to get any on uh, any any onto the green. But if I do, I'll just rip, I'll just fix it anyway. Alright, and then we're going to get his shoes done as well. Trying to be extra flipping careful. Better than mistakes anyway, I'll just touch it up back up anyway. There's a little bit down there where I can just see down there. I think I've just got it. But yeah, so you're gonna get, I'm gonna get his other shoe done, and then I'm gonna get his shoes and, and, and his nap, I could call him a nappy, and nappy done. And then use Methiston Red, and I'm gonna paint his hat in Methiston Red to give him like a little Santa's hat. So I will go and get that done, and I'll be back to you in a minute. And there we go. And Paint, I've painted the box down here as well in the um, Ryan Lux hide. There is a bit of touch. Oh, for God's sake! Every time I come back on, there's always some touch-up needs doing. Lord, I should notice this lot before I come back on. There we go. Sorry about that. Right, next colour we're going to do is we're going to get Retributure Armour, which is that one. And we're going to go around and get all the baubles done and all the bows done on the presents. All right. All right, let's get a, a small brush. Thank you. 
we're just going to go and paint more. on this one I'm trying to be careful that I don't get it on the um, antlers I'll give it a second cut after so yeah that's a ball that's one of your baubles and then you've got all these little bows and everything here So yeah, go and get all the bows done, all the ball balls. I'm gonna do this bit off camera as well. I'm gonna get all the presents done because I have no idea what colors I'm doing them. So with the presents, doing whatever color you fancy. I'm even gonna paint this up here. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that yet, but you will see when it's done. So I'm sorry I'm not gonna do that on camera. Um, it's just that I, one time, <coughs> for me, time's getting on. And four, no, one, time's getting on, two, I have no idea what colour I'm doing, so I don't want to waste your time going, I don't know which colour I'm doing, trying to find the colours, blah, 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 blah. Um, so I'm going to get it done. And some of the ball balls, I'm going to go over with different colours, with some contrast colours to give it the metallic, get bring the metallic out to give it some colour. And I will get back to you once we've got that done. And there we go. And the colours I've used was blue from model air gunship green from model air medium yellow from model air um gray greyhound orange from citadel i can't pronounce that one but it's a contrast yellow from citadel Nagroth Knight Exorcist Purple and some whole red from Model Air. Right. Next colour we're gonna do is We're gonna get some, I can't pronounce its name, but that color. And we're gonna paint this tree thing here. So we're just gonna go straight over. And don't worry about this being light because that's what theoretically I'm after. because we still want some of that um, white to show through. Right, do the other side. Right, I'm gonna get the other side. I'm gonna get the other side done. Get that um, and get it all dried, and be back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. Now, right, next colour we're gonna get is some Raclon flesh shade, and we want this for the teeth and all the go all the goblins and the um, squid. I'll just put all these paints away, won't it? I 
meant to have done this for Christmas, like organising yellow, yellow, blue, blue, red, red. <sighs> right, and what we want to do is paint all over his teeth. The, well, all their teeths. Hang on, there's a big puddle there. Basically, we want to give him some dirty teeth. Basically. <clears throat> right. That's that done. Just wait for, I'm just gonna have to leave that to dry. Um, right, next we're gonna get is Athrak Urshade. And this, we wanna use this on all the bows and stuff. So we're just gonna go and paint this all over the bows, try and get it all in them gaps and recesses. Do not, do, but don't go too, too heavy with it though, because you still want to have a bit of shine coming off the um, Retributor armor. Thing is, just just take your time. And there we go. Right, what I'm gonna do is gonna get that dried up and I'll be back to you once I've got that done. And there we go. Right, next colour we're gonna get is we're going to get some silver or iron breaker or whatever kind of silver you want to get used and use my thin brush there's whatever this is on here I think it's an old, a old can a broken candle or something um, we're going to paint this up in silver. And all these little hot things that are on the bobble. Bubble. 
give them a bit of a paint. Like so. There we go. And then he's got his this guy's got a spear. Whatever, or spear, whatever this is, he's got. And. That's that bit done. Right. I've missed a little bit, I missed a bit with Skeleton Hall. So let me find that again. Snake Bart Love, I mean, sorry. Right. Snake Bart Leather. We're going to use it for this. There we go. Like that. Right. A few little bits left and it's done. Let me just dry that. Let me just go and dry that a sec. Right, what we're going to do next is I'm going to get some Caribbean Ocean from Speed Painters. I literally only need a few drops because I don't need a lot of this. That, that, even that one little drop it should be enough. Right, and what I'm going to do is the eyes, I'm just going to put. Drops like that to give it blue eyes. <clears throat> right. Next, oh, that's something. Next thing is there's two little Warhammer figures on here. I'm not going to paint them up. I'm not. What I'm going to do is paint them in um, Mechanicus Standard Grey um, to make out that they've been built but not been painted yet. So there's one up top of here of a space marine. So I'm just gonna paint him up. Because my eyes are no way good enough to paint this space green up in on that small. I give it up to the people who can, but I definitely can't. Get this bit done down the side of here. And the next one is in the snow down there. It's, I don't know what, what you call him.
There we go, that's that done. So basically, looks like that. Right, let me just give this a dry minute. The next colour we're going to use is Adon Black. Right, and we're going to paint the bases on it. And there's a little paint pot as well that I'm going to paint here. So yeah, I'm going to get the bases painted, um, and that paint pot's now painted. Um, oh, and do both, do all of his, um, the squid's claws as well. So to do the claws, the bases, and that paint pot black. I'll be back to you once we've got it done. And there we go. It's all done. took ages to do but worth it so what I would say was this one's gonna have to go in my collection now um next one's going to be probably Alaskan truck simulator because that's probably the next one I'm doing and um, I think it's episode four I think I have got I have got this to paint as well So this could be coming on the channel soon. It's basically another squid, but he's got bombs and all sorts with him. Um, I am looking at some more Warhammer. I am looking at getting a box set to make a competition so people can win. Um, win a box set. So I'll have a look around and see what I can find. And so hopefully this is going to miss my first video of 2024. And I will carry on bringing more out. And I hope everybody likes this. And I will catch everybody in the next one. So thank you for watching. Um, take and then that's a quick, another quick look of what it looks like. I need to fix that. There's a black there. Um, but thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.